Hey guys, welcome to another conversation to consider. Uh, I am um, excited to run today's little session. Just let me get up um, Facebook, otherwise we have it as a little feedback loop. Uh, so today's session is on Facebook. I've decided. Woohoo! Uh, I've seen a couple of different comments in a couple of different groups and places that um, the thing we find the hardest is that advertising stuff, you know. And um, the thing I love about Facebook, let me just go to everybody up here just so I can see you all. Oh, there we go. Hey, people. Um, Carly, read your mind, how cute. I do tend to do that. It's really cool. I pick up off the vibe of um, the hub and the club and it seems to work. So let me just grab you all up on here. Who else do I see here? Five people. Hey, Alison, nice to see you. Cool. So I'll just pop you up here on my new computer. Let's have a look. Oh, it's doing some weird stuff and now Siri wants to talk to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, Louise, nice to see you too. Okay, so uh, what we're going to talk about today is Facebook um, and that whole feeling of, oh, well, how do I do that advertising stuff anyway? So the advertising stuff, um, just like somebody mentioned in another group, I think it was Strictly Prax actually, um, that the main thing that you want to focus on when you're first starting out is to get people in the door and then focus on giving them all of that wonderful care, knowledge, attention and help that uh, I know you have inside you and we all know we have inside ourselves after finishing your wonderful studies or coming back to work after a long period of time. That's what you want to focus on. But if you aren't getting the people in the door, or you have a nice little trickle of people coming in, then it's time then to focus on the advertising stuff. Now, advertising stuff generally will cost you time or it will cost you money or it will cost you energy. It will be one of those things. And the cool thing about Facebook is that um, yes, it will cost you time, but generally if you do the things that are free on Facebook, it won't cost you any money. And I know that that's a big deal for lots and lots of prackies, particularly those starting out, what to do with uh, the small amount of money you do have, where to best spend it so that you get the best impact of either more clients, more cash or more consultations. And so when it comes to the world of advertising, Facebook and Instagram and social media is one of those freebies, but then it gets really confusing. Where do I go? Should I do a Facebook? Should I link it to my Instagram? Should that link to Pinterest and should that talk to Snapchat? What the hell is Snapchat anyway? And then it all gets a little bit heavy, doesn't it? And then we just turn around and turn a blind eye and ignore the fact that we created this lovely business page that we never talked to anybody on. <laughs> so, uh, instead, what I was going to do is heaps of changes have happened in uh, Facebook literally over the past month and I haven't even delved into it. So I thought I would dive in and you would get to see the back end of my Facebook, which is uh, a bit um, interesting. And you get to see the back end of um, business page. You get to see the back end of um, groups so that you can see what actually happens behind the scenes there and if you want to run one for yourself. Uh, does that sound helpful? Lisa says it sounds helpful. Yeah, I seriously read her mind too. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love that. All right. So let's have a look if we can get my beautiful webinar platform to talk to a page. Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. All right, let's see. This will be interesting. <laughs> uh, and if you have any questions in the meantime about 
uh, all of this, please just pop them in the group um, because I uh, in the group chat because I'm here right now. So I may as well answer any other questions that you do have um, because that excites me and I can be a lot more specific and helpful to you guys. All right, let's have a look. Uh, going back to share screen. We all have tech issues, even us people that do it all the time. So don't freak out and don't let tech hold you back. If you are planning on sharing information with people, no, I don't want to share that. Um, if you are planning on sharing information with people, just share it, just like I am right now. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Okay. I don't want that. Uh, Kylie says, yes, I've been trying to work out how to use groups to sell too. What is that doing? I don't want that. Hmm. Turn screen share off. Okay. Let's go back here and go with entire screen. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Let's get it really confused. Oh. Beautiful. All right. Who can see this? I've got a beautiful 10 second lag on my, uh, on my phone. So I can't tell if you can see it just yet. It's a bit exciting. Um, Carly, yes, I've been trying to work out how to use groups to sell into. Beautiful. The beauty of, um, selling into groups is that, um, you don't have to sell necessarily, but you have to be there and be present. Um, when you're use, utilizing groups, it's a way of increasing your exposure to who knows, likes, and trusts you. And so that the element of no like, and trust comes out of you sharing in those groups. Uh, and you share strategically in a way that the next question that they ask is going to be something along the lines of, oh, well, do you have a page about that? Do you have a download about that? That kind of thing. So um, I did put a, um, a really cool post by Kate Toon up on uh, Website Wednesday last week. I think it was. And uh, it was a great post about how... Um, the etiquette of being in groups and uh, I'll, I'll pop that in below as well but um, yeah uh, well I'll show you the back end of groups and to create your own group which might have been your other side of the question Kylie um, to create your own group I'll go through the back end of what it looks like in a group on the back end of here too uh, Carly great question linking Facebook to Instagram you'll see that uh, that's exactly what I've done on my page so this is the back end of my page and uh, when you're in here uh, on a desktop, now if you're ever going to do anything in your uh, business page or if you are going to create your own group, I highly suggest you do most of the work inside the desktop. The algorithm at the moment is really weird and wacky. They must be doing some interesting changes uh, because the algorithm in the phone or the mobile device is very different to the algorithm on a desktop. And you can't get access to all these wonderful goodies that have just appeared on this side in your, on your um, business page as easily on mobile as you can on desktop. So as you can see, this is the, the page. And thank you to everybody who uh, made my New Year's resolution come true. I have over a thousand people. Yay! It's very exciting. Um, Inspirational Health used to have quite a few thousand and uh, it's taken a little bit of time for me to focus in on who I'm helping and what I'm doing on my new business page. Um, but it's been up a year and uh, I've got a thousand people. So thank you guys very much for connecting with me over there. Um, my plan and, and having a strategy around these things uh, is an evolution, not a revolution. You might not be uh, you might not have a strategy straight away, but it might kind of evolve and that's what's happened with mine. So my strategy this year is to share more and be more authentic here on my Facebook business page than I have been before and be more transparent. And you might not start to notice that uh, in some of the posts that I'm getting in here. Uh, whereas being in the Nat Hub, it's more around business and mindset and then the Nat Club is around the 
um, the content that we actually cover within the club and the group mentoring sessions. So in the back here, what you'll notice is there's a list of things along the top and you'll see that there's the page, you'll see that there is an inbox, so you get messages up here. I highly suggest you go and check this because this is where your rating comes from for uh, how responsive you are to answer questions. Then uh, it'll give you notifications, it'll give you insights. We might click over there actually. Insights is really interesting. It tells you about where the people who are clicking on your page are coming from. So. Uh, for the past week, for instance, I've had uh, two interactions, uh, two actions on the page. So people have clicked through to other things that I've popped up on there. Uh, I've had 89 page views in the past six days. Uh, I've had 12 page likes. The reach got out to uh, 1,300 people. And uh, it tells you other insights of things about where it organically reached and other people that you might have uh, interacted with, how many people have been watching the videos that I've got up on the page as well as different page followers and uh, about your advertising that you've done recently and how, how well that worked or how it didn't. So there's some really interesting things in here that might help you when it comes to what, uh, what type of people are connecting with you, what time of day they're connecting with you, different shares and reactions. Uh, different things where it comes from across from Instagram. There's some really interesting things. Plus, you can boost your posts from here. Remember, I don't I don't particularly like boost posts. I I really uh, suggest that you should go into the Ads Manager to be able to do that. Uh, so the other thing about this is page likes. When you click on the likes, for instance, the people that have just uh, come in and you can see all of these things are over to the side here as well. You can actually t uh, get a look in and see what happens with all of these people who ha who are joining, what percentage you're increasing by, where, where they're coming from, the amount of unlikes you've been having, if that's associated with advertising, if it's associated with other bits and pieces that are going on in your in your campaigns and uh, where they're coming from, which is really cool. So um, these ones are coming from uh, my page, they're coming from suggestions, uh, all these types of things. They're coming from a news feed, this one. Uh, so there's some really interesting numbers, stats, and other things that are behind the scenes here that you can access about the people and that are liking your page, that are interested in, in your page. Uh, you've also got reach, how many people you're, you're connecting with, uh, where they're coming from, what answer, what um, connections you're making with them, what reactions you're getting from them, uh, things that are hidden and other bits and pieces, so they're all in here as well. Uh, page views, again, who's having a look at. So there's some really cool, interesting stuff here, particularly for those people who are more interested in the stat side of things. So if we go back to the page, uh, then we've also got down along the side here, you can add a whole bunch of stuff uh, and you can tweak a whole bunch of stuff. And you might notice that I haven't been here for a while, so I'll share with you what I've got in here. So, oh, in the About section, now this has changed entirely. Uh, over, literally over the past two weeks or so. So in here you can change your uh, your category and you never used to be able to change your category. So you might be under a business but you might be a single person. So you might be wanting to uh, go into the public figure side of things. You might, if, you, if you've if you registered as a, a category as a public figure, you might want to go in and be a business side of things. So whatever you've got up here, then you want to connect your uh, what type of business you are, uh, any particular interests you might have. Now remember, interests are a very different thing to specialities, but you might want to pop them in there. All of these things are able to be searched by other um, entities. So if you are going to appear on, or people are going, sorry, if Facebook is going to uh, suggest your page to other people, you might want to make sure that the interests are in there so for instance, I should technically be putting in here things like business and mindset.
Um, so, and then uh, you're able to connect that later on. Uh, you can add all of your other uh, connections here and it's really, really important if you are starting a social media strategy or a marketing or advertising strategy that they're all connected to one another, that you have essentially pingbacks. And a pingback is where if you're on one platform, you're able to find somebody else's other platform. And you've probably done it yourself when you've gone and had a look at somebody's um, something that you've been interested in and then you go and click on onto their link in the bio and then you go and find their website and then from their website you go and find their Facebook page. It, you might be able to find a little trail. The same thing happens here. So however much you can put in here, the easier it is for them to find you on whatever platform your, your clients are actually using the most. Uh, so then look at this, all this crazy cool information that they've got here now. So it used to just be an about section and it used to have a, a word limit. Now you've got these amazing opportunities to put in a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, if you have an interest in being a speaker or you've got an interest in running workshops or seminars, putting a biography in is gold to be able to get people in there. Makes life much easier for people who are running seminars or webinars just to go and rip your uh, biography from a place like uh, Facebook or your website and makes it much simpler for them to take you on board as a speaker. Uh, you might also want to add other awards and other bits and pieces that you might want to have in there. And now this one is really cool too. Uh, I've just got my VA this week working on um, our story in the background. And this is, uh, this will appear on your about page to have a little story instead of having a very short about section to have a little story about what else you, you know, how your business came about, who you love to help and um, how that actually reflects a, and how people can come and uh, interact with you in uh, you and your business. So the story side of things uh, is really big for Facebook because it's all about connecting people and people. And it could be a really beneficial space for you to uh, connect with people on a more personal level because all of this is relationship building. You're building rapport and a relationship with potential clients. It just so happens you're doing it on a platform called Facebook. So uh, then you've got over on the side, you've got your other bits and pieces, things like photos. Ooh, I wonder what we've got in here. Um, so I, I've fed all of my photos from uh, Instagram. So from Instagram uh, on my phone, I selected settings and then my settings, I selected uh, uh, connecting to a Facebook page and from Facebook page, I connected to a Facebook business page. And now every time I uh, post on Instagram from my phone, because I, I generally take pictures uh, daily, then I share my uh, noticings and then that automatically populates my Facebook page. Facebook business page. So that's where all of these photos are coming from. Uh, I also add other bits and pieces, but it's one of my quickest, easiest ones there. Events. So this is a great opportunity for those who run workshops, webinars, retreats, uh, that kind of thing, to pop a, a, create an event. Now, the reason that this is really important for businesses now is because they've actually made in Facebook, when you run an advertising campaign, you used to only be able to access um, your your potential customers, your list, what, what do they call it? Uh, your audience. Your audience for a particular, um, your audience for a particular uh, advertising campaign, you used to only be able to upload your email addresses to it or access only people that had access to your, that liked your business page. Now, anybody who has interacted with an event that you've created, you can specifically target adverts to them. Even if they aren't coming to it, if they've uh, clicked on it, taken an interest in it, any of that kind of thing, you're able to click in there. So you've got that, uh, that your, that, create an event page. And if you create an event and people start clicking on it, it starts to get a bit of traction, you're then able to go over to, uh, over here to 
advert uh, manage ads or create ads in your ads manager and you can create an ad specifically for people who have been interested or taken a click onto your events uh, so that's really cool if you are somebody who runs workshops webinars seminars speaking gigs retreats definitely worthwhile and I will be doing this myself <laughs> um, so I've got a series of events coming up in the middle of the year that uh, I will definitely pop on here because then we're able to make sure that we're connecting with the right people at the right time for the right things. Okay, what do we got over here? Videos. I did look in here the other day. Uh, and you can feature one of your videos. Now this is new as well. So you can feature one of your videos and it will display at the top of the pages section, which is pretty cool. Maybe I should do that. How about we do that? Let's have a look. Mm, choose a video. Uh, tell me guess mentor. Let's do that one. That one. Add featured video. I wonder what this will do. Woo, okay, cool. You guys will be able to tell me what that looks like later on. Let's make her nice and quiet. All right. Uh, create video playlists with, uh, if you are somebody who creates a lot of video content or pops in lots of bits and pieces like I do, as you can see, there's a few different ones of me talking, then you'll be able to create playlists very similar to what you have on YouTube. So YouTube creates a playlist, essentially it groups all the common themed ones so that if you are watching them, you're then able to uh, allow people to watch the next one that's very similar. And given that I've been uh, on this particular business page since I um, was still uh, practicing full time as a naturopath, there is a whole chunk down the bottom here. They're all about um, gluten and stress and coffee and I'm pretty sure I've got a gut series in here as well and a whole bunch of things on my helicopter flying as well so that could be beneficial in the future too so if you want to create a playlist of videos and particularly if you're starting to use Facebook live to connect with your your peeps I think it's a really good option there too uh, now all the videos get video insights the same as your other uh, all your other insights so you can click into your video insights and you can see how many people have watched oh my goodness two and a half thousand minutes of viewing wow that is super cool um, chuffed people that is really awesome so uh, that's really exciting and then uh, it's just for the last seven days wow that's amazing so um, that's pretty awesome it can tell you all of the different um, stats to do with your videos who's been watching them where they've been um, who they've been connected to so uh, another really cool insight there that I didn't know about that I'm revealing to you as I speak all right <laughs> um, Right, from videos, we then move to posts. Now, posts is an interesting one because this came about a couple of months ago, these uh, different options of what you want to share in here. And uh, this is the area, particularly if you are going to create an advert, uh, a Facebook ad, that you want to create and you want to, do it easily by boosting that particular post. You can create the ad in here first and then boost the post, but you've got to collect it, select an audience. So that's the cool thing about here. You can create an offer and you know the um, Facebook posts and ads that have the little click through button? That's what these ones are about clicking through so you might have create an offer and it says learn more or create an offer and it says line up, uh, sign up here. So that's what these ones are about and that it, it might change uh, change to something different. Other things that are in here are your posts. So we've got a whole bunch of things in here around uh, how I've, I've already connected these ones from Instagram. And again, I'd highly suggest doing that for people who have a limited amount of time or don't particularly want to be on every platform. So uh, these ones are ones that... Um, are real, that, that comes straight over from Instagram. And I love it because it is much easier for me 
uh, if I only have to post once <laughs> and um, the other bits and pieces are still in there. You'll also notice that uh, for me, I've been playing around with what connects. So uh, everybody knows me for my inspirational quotes. Um, these I approve from my uh, my VA and then we approve the days of the week that it comes out. And you'll see that they're getting a lot less reach, but I have them there because, oh, I have them there, so 86 people, for instance, saw this particular one and four people have liked or loved it um, or have connected with it. Now, I have them there so that the Facebook algorithm picks up that something is happening every day. If you don't regularly or consistently and persistently appear in the Facebook algorithm, it's going to drop you, drop you down further. So I only do mine once a day. It used to go right up until five times a day or something that they were suggesting doing it. But I only do once a day of these types of things to be consistent and persistent. And some days I just don't have the inspiration to, <laughs> to share. You know, some days things get in the way. But in the, on those, um, I aim to speak to people and share what I'm experiencing every day. And if I'm in here once a day sharing some part of um, my knowledge or my wisdom and connecting, then you'll notice 314 people connected with this one and over 25 likes. So I'm playing with consistently, what am I sharing? Is it valuable to people? And is it actually getting um, traction? And is it actually, you know, giving people an awareness or a shift or a change that actually contributing to people's lives or is it just annoying stuff that's appearing on the page? Now, when I was running my clinic, I was um, popping in things like the newest research, the um, because I, I got a lot of things through my inbox like med pages and um, oh, other bits and pieces that I'd signed up to and I would get all the newest research. I'd read it anyway and then I'd just share the link and sharing the link initially was getting lots of traction people were but but then it started to slow down and I didn't get as much so when I distilled that information my version of what I was reading it got heaps more traction and it also connected with people and they know uh, it got to a stage where they knew liked and trusted me more than before so I started sharing things so it really depends on who's listening to you and what you're doing there as to what might be connecting. And so it's a, it's a little bit of a game, plus the Facebook al algorithm changes all the time. So it's a little bit of a game and a dance to see, okay, what's working now might not work in a month's time. And what's working now for my clients or the people who are connecting with me, that might not work either. So uh, that was just a little rant on posts. That might be helpful for you. All right, what have I got into services? This is interesting. Okay. Uh, it looks as though you can populate this area because uh, I've connected as a public figure. You can add a service. I did actually look at this the other day. Uh, in add a service, and I'll just click through and show you what happens. You can add a photo. So this is really great for you guys because you can add a photo and you can add the service. So it might be an initial consultation. It might be a 10-minute introductory session or it might be, you know, a one hour massage, whatever it happens to be. You can add the service, the price, the description. And uh, when you save it, you can also add a link to it. So this type of thing might be beneficial or in the description, you might want to plug in your booking system in there as well. So if people, it, so instead of trying to plug in your entire booking system, this might be a really good place if you haven't had an opportunity to plug in all of your health kit or your clinic or well, that kind of thing. You might just want to pop the link in here and uh, get people to pop in here instead. All right. Uh, over here, shop. Hmm. Set up your shop section. This would be interesting. Now, I personally don't want to uh, sell anything specifically from Facebook at this stage. Uh, the, during the year, when we run our next um, success sessions, there might be a time where I want to set this up and this would be the place I would go to set it up. Um, you need to read obviously the policies and you need to have a really clear idea of what you want people to buy and you might also want, to need, want a place for them to connect on how to pay for it. So uh, like I mentioned in last week's Training Thursday, uh, setting up a system like PayPal, 
or Stripe as a, as a way of getting money through uh, is a really good option. Hey, Carrie, nice work. Um, awesome. So uh, there is that. And then we've got groups. So this connects you to the groups that you have or you have had in the past. So um, as you can see, uh, pages that are, are linked here is you guys, the Entrepreneur Hub, uh, and then we've got the NAT Club, and then we've also got the previous NAT Club. So uh, these are the groups that are connected, and you can do that by connecting in here. Now, having a group connected to your business page is really beneficial if you would like to run a program. You might want to offer a group. Uh, it gives you access to them nice and quickly and easily. It's free space to connect with them, and uh, it's an add-on that's essentially free. Somebody also asked about this in the group the other day in the hub about how do you set up a package uh, and charge more for it. Well, you charge more by creating something that's of a perceived value that actually costs you nothing. So a, a Facebook group is one of those that's, that's really good at that. Cool. Okay. Uh, so uh, And you can connect it there because when people go to your business page, they're then able to click through and find that particular one as well. All right. Uh, notes. This is new. Haven't seen notes before. That could be interesting. Don't know about that. Offers. Create offers to attract customers. Now, you guys, I'd, I'd invite you 100% to get in here and, um, and hop in here, especially if you are starting to get a little bit of traction in your Facebook page. If you haven't got a Facebook page and you haven't got a website, open up a Facebook page. It's, it's, it's Googleable. Uh, you'll be found on Google through Facebook. It's one of those things that always appears on the first two pages. Uh, it's free and it takes about five minutes to set it up and you've got access to putting all of this content on there for people and then they're able to essentially buy straight from you. So um, it would be a bit silly if you haven't got a presence online not to open up a business page. If you have got a presence online and you have got a business page, get back in there and check out all these little bits and pieces and just try something. You can always take it off later. So if you want to create an offer in here, things like uh, a a food audit, you know, a free 15 minute food audit or a, um, a welcome pack and join our detox group at the same time. Whatever it happens to be, just give it a go. Uh, why not? If you aren't seeing lots of clients and you want to see more, why not give it a play to begin with? If it doesn't work, you just take it back off. Uh, and community, I wonder what's in here. All right. Oh, look at all our wonderful friends um, and all the people that are in the group and all of the photos and all the other bits and pieces that are in here. So that's pretty cool too. All right. Uh, are there any other questions on Facebook business page? Hmm. What have we got here? Kristen. Uh, Kristen, I don't seem to have these extra things on my Facebook business page. Uh, so it might be an idea to up... Uh, Make sure that you are on the desktop and make sure that you've got the, uh, if you log out and then log back in again, it'll give you the freshest version of it. Uh, other than that, I don't have a tip for you there. Um, Kylie, I was thinking also about a, a group like The Hub. Yeah, cool. As a naturopath without a niche yet. Mm, that's interesting, Kylie. So um, having a niche is really kind of important <laughs> um, because it allows you to speak to the people that you need to speak to. I'll just plug my computer in so I don't lose you guys. All right, so um, having people to talk to that have something in common, having people to talk to that have something in common is the best way to go about setting things up because um, what happens there is you're then able to uh, speak to them in the way that they need. They specifically need certain things at a certain time. And the quick, the closer you go into a niche, uh, the easier it is to talk to people. The more generalised you are, um, it, the, the less impact it seems to have. So uh, when it comes to creating a group, you have to be really specific. And I've even learned it in here. 
uh, in the hub. The more specific we can get, the easier it is for those conversations to happen. happen. And instead of having all these surface level conversations, we can dive really deep into um, a niched, a smaller uh, width of a of a topic, and hence mind, mindset and business for practitioners rather than everything to do with being a practitioner, because we just don't get to go that deep. So um, for your particular one, Kylie, uh, again, it's a, it's a dance and a game. Uh, when we were when I was doing. Um, inspirational health we had um, a detox and a cleanse twice a year because I did a detox and a cleanse twice a year um, you can call it whatever you like if detox freaks you out that's fine um, but essentially I took some liver herbs and some vitamins and minerals and changed my you know tweaked up my diet and uh, we all got together and we didn't even actually use the group except for those particular times of the year and um, even then, it was it was that add-on. It was really beneficial. So Kylie, light bulb moment, mums and bubs, totally. It's yes, it's the season of your life, and you've got lots to say about it, and you've got some real stories to have about that. Um, uh, you know, <laughs> blueberries going to hospital, <laughs> all the all of the ups and downs of mums and bubs, and then you've got um, all of the knowledge you have to share around health and well-being in there as well, plus the level of authenticity that other people probably don't have. So um, that's really cool, Kylie. Awesome. Uh, Rebecca, how come when I promote an ad and I had 2,000 likes on Insta and none on Facebook? Yeah, great question, uh, Rebecca. So depending on who your uh, target market is, there are different people uh, on Facebook and there are different people on Instagram. Uh, for instance, the information that I used to be sharing on Facebook was very different to the uh, information I used to share on Instagram. Instagram is photo worthy. You know, um, if you are on Insta yourself, you, you scroll through and you click through and it's an eye thing. You, you're instantly attracted to the things that are particularly set up in the golden ratio, particularly set up in the colors that you're attracted to at the moment. That it, it's a visual representation. And if you're putting an ad on there around um, travel or uh, healthy eating or those, you know, the inspiration or fitspiration type of look and feel, then you're going to get heaps more traction on Instagram than you are on Facebook. The people on Facebook are connecting with people to people. It's Facebook. So you're connecting on a relationship level with people on, on Facebook, which is a bit different to what's actually happening over on Insta. So if you were, for instance, advertising a retreat, you would put it on Instagram and you get heaps more traction. Uh, if you were advertising a workshop or a seminar, um, unless you have nice pretty pictures to go with it, uh, then you might get the opportunity to have a conversation about it over on Facebook rather than um, on Instagram. So it really depends on what you're selling, how you're marketing that, and who you're marketing it to. And that's one of the big, big things about who you're marketing to and, and the ideal client. And if you want a, um, a downloadable, if you go to tamiguest.com backslash ideal dash client, you can get a download uh, on your ideal client, how to think about being in that person's shoes. So if you're doing an ad specifically for um, your next cooking class and you particularly want mums to be at the next cooking class. If you step into their shoes, where are they hanging out? Are they flicking through Pinterest? Are they flicking through Instagram? Um, and when they're on Instagram, what are they looking at? Are they looking at um, beautiful, pretty pictures of food? Or are they looking at um, uh, stories of worn out mums? Are they? What are they looking at? And then you can essentially grab what they're looking at and pop your details about your workshop underneath it. But if you, if they're on Facebook, are, you, are they looking at things about being real? Are they looking at the Connie um, Constance, uh, Constance Hall type of element and being real about being a mum? And then you put your workshop underneath that. So there's, there's a different conversation happening in different um, social media. It's the big standout one is LinkedIn. If you guys are 
advertising or you want clients from uh, businesses or corporate, then you go over to LinkedIn and it's a really different conversation that's being had over in LinkedIn than it is being on Facebook or Instagram. So um, that would be my suggestion, Rebecca, that um, the people that are watching your stuff on Insta, and I happen to know that you're, you've got an amazing retreat coming up, and if any um, burnt out Nats, Nats, Herbies or Prackies want to go um, to an amazing retreat up in Queensland, Beck's got a great thing going on. Um, but your pictures for the retreat are epic. So of course people are going to love your stuff on Insta. Um, to get more traction in on Facebook, there is a possibility that you might want to tell a bit more of a story, might want to connect with the burnout side of things, that kind of stuff, uh, rather than just the uh, the pretty picture. So <laughs> hopefully that's been helpful. All right, so if we go over to now, oh, you're gonna see the back end of my stuff. All right, groups. If we go to groups, then you can go and have a look at your own groups. And let's go to the back end of uh, the hub. All right. So in the hub, we've got all over here the about section, discussion, the different members, and you'll see there's 345 people wanting to join the group. Um, there's a reason for this too. Uh, 345 people wanting to join this group. It's amazing the different types of people we've got going on you know, it's really obvious over here in the description that uh, the hub is a meeting place for Nats, Nuts, Herbies and Prackies to come together for support uh, around education and entrepreneurship and it's around mindset. And then when people join the group, and you might have seen it yourself, there are some very specific questions. And those very specific questions are there so that uh, we get the right people coming and applying for the group. And these people are a mixture of um, some really different types of practitioners that don't necessarily have qualifications, um, just online marketers that just want to join and spam everybody, uh, random people from Nigeria and other places around the world, and um, people who I can't check the credentials of. So when you're running a group, be wary that uh, there is going to be all sorts of different things. You, you want to create uh, an onboarding process that is nice and clean and clear. And so that's one of my missions for 2018 is to make sure that um, this onboarding process is a lot easier. All right. So um, we've, uh, oh, and people, if you have more than, um, say, 20 groups that you are, that, that you like or that you're interested in, that is spamming up your, your Facebook feed and it's it's detracting you from the things that are important to you. Um, now, now, when you go into uh, the people who want to join the group, I'm not going to show you just because of um, confidentiality, but if you go into there, uh, you can see what other groups you're in. You can see the things that you're interested in, you, you know, and... I have seen some people who are in this group or wanting to join the group with over 300 groups that they're in. That is not going to be beneficial. How is that beneficial? <laughs> like, it's not beneficial from a time management perspective, an energy management perspective, and it's definitely not beneficial as a strategic plan for your business. So uh, if you are in more than, say, 20 groups, uh, and I highly suggest you pick essentially five that you want to be in, uh, with regularity so that you're contributing and then others are contributing back and there's this beautiful energy exchange going on. Yeah, but be careful of how many groups you're in. Uh, then it tells you about your members and what goes on in there. You can create events just the same as you do with um, your business page. Uh, you can upload videos, very similar situation, or you can watch the videos of other people who have uploaded uh, photos, files, group insights. This is a place that tells us about um, very similar kind of scenario, how many members we've had in the past 28 days, how many posts we've had in the past 28 days, comments, that kind of thing. And um, who is helpful and who is contributing the most? So you might see yourself there, wonderful people. 
So uh, there is a whole bunch of wonderful insights and other bits and pieces happening in the background here that allows you to connect um, other other admins as well. So um, uh, my VA occasionally comes in and we've got some other people who are community managers in the group and um, that can be really beneficial uh, when your group gets to a certain size to be able to not necessarily do it all yourself. And the other one is um, making sure that you've got nice, clear, clean descriptions about what you what the expectations are of your group so that uh, everybody refers back to that. And this isn't a thing that's set in stone. You can consistently go in and change this if you so choose, but making sure that um, your and what happens in groups is that um, uh, different bits and pieces come up. You know, it's an energetic, alive type of thing, and we're co-creating a conversation in here. And so when certain conversations come in, you might notice that your boundaries might be slipping on a certain thing, and you can always come back in here and really tighten up those boundaries for you, the group, and the collective as a whole. So um, that's a little bit of the back end of groups. Now, let's see if I can go back to Webinar Jam and get you all back on here. Ha, ah, look, here we are again. So hopefully this has been uh, beneficial to you guys and hopefully you've got had a bit more of an insight um, to being either inspired to create your own business page on Facebook. Highly suggest it. Go in, only takes a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. Uh, you only need a couple of pictures, pop it in there, and then you're able to connect. It's, it's, it, they're turning it into essentially having your own website where people can already book in with you, already uh, pay for things, already connect with your offers, already connect with your, your, your teachings if you are an educator, uh, webinars, workshops, retreats, that kind of stuff. Um, it also captures all of the people's details that are in there. So if you're a data-driven person and data is king when it comes to your business, it is something you should definitely look at and we look at ours on a monthly basis to see where all these leads are coming from, what's warm, what's not. And then we can turn that around and um, be able to advertise and give the information to the right people who are interested in getting that information, not just spam everybody who doesn't want that information. So... Um, that can be really beneficial. Highly suggest you take the time to actually connect with your peeps because Facebook's a great place to connect with them. It's free, essentially, until you pay for your advertising. Um, be consistent. Just choose one platform. If you want to choose Instagram because you like pretty pictures and you're a visual type of person, go over there and choose that and, and then feed it in like I have been on my business page. You don't have to be in there. It doesn't have to be perfect all at the same time. And then the next stage is if you want to create a group, if you want to go one to many, if you've had enough of going one to one, maybe you're a bit burnt out seeing too many clients and that kind of thing, you want to create a community or a conversation that's bigger than the one to one, then a free platform that doesn't cost money for rent of a workshop space, doesn't cost money for like a free platform, right, is groups. Um, uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a relatively easy thing. You've just got to set up the boundaries around it, uh, create the container, and make sure that you are providing uh, as much value as you're getting out of creating um, for that, those groups. So um, Grace has one more question. I have two groups I want to set up, and I also need to set up those services and offers. Yeah, who else had an aha moment about, oh, my goodness, services and offers? I could just have a link there for initial consultation. I could have a link there for a 15-minute discovery call. I could have a link there for um, our detox package for the beginning of the year. I could have a link there for an event that you might want to run. Um, so just the same as every other time I run one of these, what is the actionable step, like Grace has beautifully pointed out, uh, she's got two groups she wants to set up and she's going to go in and have a look at the services and offers. What is the actionable step that you could take today, like right now, that you're inspired by that could change something for you in your business? Because by taking action, we're going to get a different result to not taking action. So right now, uh, we've only got a couple of you left on online. And if you're watching this as a replay, what is the action you could take right now? Type it in. 
take action by taking action. <laughs> Type in to the comment section what you're going to do uh, on social media-ish slash Facebook that is going to get you a different result to the result you have been getting. Grace, thumbs up with the two groups. Love it. Thumbs up for the services and offers. Love it. Uh, Louise already has a group. Awesome. Kylie, I'm excited about you creating a mums and bubs group for um, your local peeps or the health of those people. Uh, Louise is taking action in looking into offers and events. Awesome. Yes. Um, your one to many world is going to be blown uh, up, I think, Louise. I'm really excited about that instead of all of your one-to-one. -one. Amy, I can take action on setting up an offer, yes, and an event uh, for a back-to-school reset. Yes, beautiful. Uh, Grace, I need to create the events page for my upcoming events too. Yes, yes. The more places that we can get out the information, the more likely it is people are going to get it. But we're all as bombarded as our clients by all the different things that have come into our Facebook feed, that come into our inbox, that come into our world. It's a, it is a sensory overload that it takes actually seven to 12 hits before that piece of information actually gets across to you. So if it takes seven to 12 hits, you have to be there in all of those different places. And if you have an offer for the ticket to your workshop, you have an event for the ticket to your workshop, you have an Instagram post for the ticket to your workshop and you have a Facebook post for the ticket to your workshop. That's still only four places and they might not have seen any of them. So make sure that you're onto it and uh, sharing because the knowledge that you have inside you and the care and attention that you have inside you is very unique and is very powerful and is there for people and they don't even know that you're out there yet. So uh, whatever you do, please, I implore you to take some action today on anything that inspired you uh, so that those people who are out there that need you, they can get the help that they need uh, by finding you. All right. Have an amazing day, everybody, and an amazing week. And I will catch you next week on either Mindset Monday or Training Thursday. Bye. <laughs>